We're going to go back to our storm coverage. As we've been telling you, this latest storm posing a big threat to people living in the Santa Cruz Mountains. But people tell us they get through it all by having each other's backs. Gavin Thomas shows us in tonight's Bay Area Proud. It's not just something they say, it's something they mean and do. This is, at its heart, a love story. Not between two people, mind you, but between a Santa Cruz mountain town and its Chinese restaurant. Boulder Creek just loves the Red Pearl, and its owner, Jenny Wu, loves them right back. Hi, guys. And both have spent the past 12 months proving it to each other. They are so nice. Everybody so friendly. Um, yeah, they just want to help you. This one is uh, Chef Special Chicken. Jenny has run the Red Pearl for 15 years. The last one, of course, being by far the hardest. Yeah, last year, super hot, yeah. Not only has the pandemic, like everywhere else, cut into restaurant business, in August, the CZU wildfire ripped through the region. Jenny lost everything when her home burned to the ground and the restaurant had to be closed for weeks. The moment the evacuations were lifted, though, Jenny was already thinking about how to help her neighbors. Well, we, we were all just really freaked out. Valerie White is a friend and customer. First thing she did when she came back into town was put tables out there and have meals for the entire community. So that's how Jenny is. The community, in turn, raised money to help Jenny get back on her feet. But the story doesn't end there. Um, beef or broccoli? Just last week, during a power outage, a thief stole $1,000 in cash from the Red Pearl. As word spread, a GoFundMe popped up that's already raised more than five times what Jenny lost. Just the love and gratitude that she showed everybody else. Once everybody heard that she got stolen from, I instantly knew she, it was going to go viral for her. Valerie Wildflower has worked for Jenny for the past three years. She says customers are going out of their way to give Jenny business. They were so swamped last weekend, the wait for food was two hours, yet nobody complained. Still others just stopped by to put money in Jenny's hand. Oh, yeah, I feel tears. I feel so, so moved. Over the past year, we've heard a lot of people use the phrase, we'll get through this together. Often, those are just words. But every once in a while, if we're lucky, we get to see what that really looks like in action. Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News.